hey ho, it's Sooty and Ho. Everybody say hello. There's Sooty and Sweet and the Corsu. They'll cause jam. They'll be fun galore with the terrible ball. Just you wait and see. And it's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company. Um, you you missed a bit in the corner there, Sooty. That's it. Oh, hello there. Hey, something very exciting is happening today, isn't it, Sooty? <laughs> what, sweet? What is it? What? <laughs> you're excited? Yes, I know you're excited. Now, just settle down. Just settle down. Go on. Off you go. Where were we? Oh, yes. Yes, the fact is that we're all going away for the weekend. The whole lot of us. We're going to visit Uncle Dennis and Auntie Beryl down south in Dorking. <laughs> what, what, sweet? What, what is it? Yes, yes, I know you're excited. You've told us now. Just settle down. Go on, just settle down. Off you go. It's been like that for two days. Mind you, it is very exciting, isn't it? Because for the entire weekend, Sooty and Co. will be closed. <laughs> He's excited. There. That's just about it. Don't want to take too much. We're only there for the weekend. Uh, listen. It's no good you two standing there gawping at me like that. I'm not going to do your packing for you. If you want something to go in the case, then you'll jolly well have to do it yourselves. <coughs> Don't tell me, Sweep. You're excited. You're excited. Yes, yes, we all know that, Sweep. But I recommend that you put excitement to one side for a moment. Concentrate on packing. Well, just a cotton-picking minute there. I hope you're not thinking that you're going to put that lot into this suitcase, are you? On top of all my pretty dresses. Well, you've got another thing coming. You can jolly well get your own suitcases and pack them elsewhere. <coughs> what sweep? <coughs> He's excited. Do you know something? I'm excited. Well, I mean, I'm not as excited as sweep, of course, but I am excited. I think it's packing that does it, because when you're packing the suitcase, that means that you're actually going. You know, I really enjoy packing suitcases. I know some people don't, but I really do, because I do it all very, very neatly, fold the clothes very, very carefully, and use lots and lots of tissue paper. And the result? A beautifully packed suitcase. Voila! You... Oh! So, whilst I'm upstairs dealing with my suitcase, Sooty is downstairs dealing with his. Sweep's there as well, and Sweep is still very excited. See what I mean? He's excited. Well, Sue told Sooty that he had to get his own case, which is what he's done. And being a magical bear, it seems that he's got a magical suitcase. Just watch, and you'll see what I mean. Job well done. Huh, it doesn't seem possible that he could get all that stuff into that one case, does it? You'd think the case would burst open and everything would just come spilling out, wouldn't it? And you'd be right. Scampy, meanwhile, is packing his suitcase. Instead of packing a selection of clothes for the weekend, he's decided to pack a selection of white mice. The thing is, the mice don't seem as keen on the idea of a weekend away as the rest of us, do they? Ah, here's Sweep doing his packing. Sweep is still very excited. Thank you. Sweep carefully puts his clothes in his suitcase. Well done, Sweep. That's a very neat job. What? What is it? Got in his bone. He can't go away for a weekend without his favourite bone. Uh oh, sweep. Um, that case isn't going to close now. 
That bone is too big. Something will have to be left behind. <laughs> That's my boy. Three, two, one. It's time for the off. I thought this moment would never arrive, but it has. Anyway, I have closed the shop, I've locked it up, put the closed sign in the window, and now I've got this milk bottle with a little message in for the milkman. No milk for the weekend, and so it's a case of bye-bye business, see you again after the weekend, bye-bye. And so, how are we all feeling? We're excited! <laughs> yes, I bet you are. Anyway, have you all got everything? Because once we leave, we are not returning, so have you all got your suitcases? Well, we have, Matthew, but where's yours? Go! <laughs> oh, go! Oh, typical of me, that fancy for getting my suitcase. Do you know something? I'd forget my head if it was loose. One suitcase. Got the suitcase. Here we go. Right. And now that we have all got our suitcases, let's leave, shall we? <laughs> don't, 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 don't tell me. You're excited, yes? No? Well, why, why are you moving around like that? What's the matter? You, you want to go to the toilet? Can't you wait? Right, well, come on, come on. Down, get down, get down, come on. Come along, come on, heel, heel, heel. God, don't, don't be long, sweet, okay? We're trying to set off, all right? There's always one, isn't there? Ah! What? Have you checked that the gas is turned off? Gas? Good thought. Come on, gas. Better check that the gas... We haven't got any gas, we're all electric. Sue, we're all electric. Anyway, we simply must set off now, because if we don't get going, we shan't get there at all. So, no, 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 but, no, no ifs, we are leaving, we're leaving now. Suitcases, go, 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 go. Come on, we've got a long way to go. And Scampi, would you just shut the gate on the way out, please? Thank you. Dear, the pennies just dropped. Sweep has just realised what's happened. They've gone off and left him. Sweep is home alone. It's no good. The door's definitely locked. He could be here all weekend. Sweep wonders what will happen when they discover he's missing. In his mind's eye, he pictures them being very upset. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, the poor little dog left on his own. How could we do such a thing? I'll never forgive myself. <laughs>
time I think of that sweet little face, I burst into tears. <laughs> or possibly, they won't discover he's missing. Is there, uh, is there something missing, Sooty? Nothing you can think of? It's curious, but I'm sure there's something's missing, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Or possibly they left him here on purpose. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> We've got rid of the last! Hooray! Nice move, Matthew. You know, I never could stand. Not the good eye. It's horrible. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> this is ridiculous, <laughs> thinks Sweep. <laughs> I've seen films where people have been left home alone. It won't be long before someone comes to my rescue. But until someone does come to rescue him, Sweep decides to have a little snack. <laughs> And since I'm not there to keep an eye on him, he can eat whatever he likes. And he likes jelly babies, crisps, sausages, chocolate, beans, and cream buns. Suddenly, Sweep has a dreadful thought. What would I say if I were there with him? Uh, 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 naughty, naughty, Sweep. You shouldn't be eating all those things. You'll make yourself poorly. And if you do, don't come running to me because I'll just say, I told you so. Uh, uh, Matthew, oh. I hate to spoil your boring parent impression, but Sweep doesn't need to hear this. Well, yes, he does, Sue. It's for his own good. I mean, if he eats all of that, there'll be tears before bedtime. All right, Captain Cliché, I didn't mean it like that. What I mean is that since we're both figments of Sweep's imagination, if he doesn't like what he's hearing, he can stop it. If he stops thinking about us, then we'll simply go away. <coughs> yes, yes, really. <coughs> Two hours have passed. It's got dark, and it seems that Sweep has survived tea, and now he's playing with Sooty's water pistol. He wonders if Sooty would allow him to use his water pistol if he were here. Hmm, no. Just as I thought, Sooty would not want him to play with the water pistol. Sweep wonders what Scampy would feel if he were here. Would he think it was okay for Sweep to play with the water pistol? Oh, apparently he would think it was okay. Surprise, surprise. Just for the fun of it, Sweep wonders what would happen if Scampy had Sooty's water pistol and Sooty didn't. <laughs> nice shooting, Scampy. Sweep wonders where all the water went. You know, it's fascinating the things you can do with your imagination. <gasps> Gosh, what's that? Thinks Sweep. Well, it could always be a burglar, couldn't it, Sweep? <laughs> Scampy, don't knock any more dustbins over. Poor Sweep, it'd be terrified. He probably thinks there's a burglar here. Sue, have you got the shop key? Quick, no, quick, quick, quick. No, I haven't got it. You what? put it in your pocket, Matthew. I saw you. Did I? Oh, I can't find it now, Sue. I do hope that Sweet's all right. Don't worry, it'll be absolutely fine, Sue. He's probably made himself a bit of tea and had a bath and watched a bit of telly. He's probably tucked up in bed by now, which is where I'd like to be. But look, look Sooty, I can't find this key. Uh, if I get the ladder, will you climb up it? Yes? OK, it's a deal. I'll get the ladder. I'll get the ladder. It's only over here. Oh, yes, such a heavy ladder. Right, I'll... Uh, do you know what we We've got all the... Uh, we, we, uh, we got all the way to Birmingham before we realised that we hadn't got him. It's probably when I went inside to check the gas. Sooty, where are you? <laughs> Don't creep up on people like that. I'll hold the ladder. You climb up it, OK? <sighs> what a day it's been. A bit higher. OK, keep, keep going. There's a, there's a good boy. Sooty, don't look down. Keep, keep going. My bedroom window is open about six inches. It should be easy to get in. Well, I'm right about one thing. Sweep does think he's being burgled, but he's seen films where things like this happen and he knows exactly what to do. Whoa, whoa, what's up? What the, Sooty Teddy, whoa, heck, whoa, I can't, hold, hold. Sooty, Sooty, where are you? Oh, there you are, thank uh, Are you all right? Oh, thank goodness the rubbish broke his fall. You okay? How are we going to get in, Matthew? I know. Shall I shout? No, shh, 
just don't do that. You'll disturb the neighbours. You know what they're like. We need we need something to uh, throw up at the window to attract sweeps attention. We could uh, little building bricks. Good boy, Scamby. Get out of the dustbin quickly. Leave this to me. Leave it to me. You know, once Sweep gets something into his head, it's awfully difficult to shift it. And Sweep has got it into his head that there's a burglar out there throwing things at the window. So he decides to dampen the burglar's spirit. Shout up to him. No, 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 no. I told you about the neighbours. Oh. Just a minute. Mm -hmm. There's a spare key just inside the letterbox. Stay here. I'll deal with it. I just remembered. Spare key. I'll leave it here for security purposes. Just inside here. Ash, ash, ash. Um, well, I was right. I knew there was a key hanging behind the letterbox. What I didn't know was a sweep was there with a large pot of blue paint. Can you feel the key, Matthew? <sighs> No, I can't, Sue, but my hand feels strangely wet. Yes, well, it's probably the water running down your arm. Yes, you're right, Sue, yes, you're right. A... Oh, hang on, hang on. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Look at this. I finally located the bit of string. feeling pretty pleased with himself. Single-handedly, he seems to have fought off a dangerous burglar. He wonders what I would say to him. Oh, you are a clever boy, Sweep. I'm so proud of you. Who's a clever, clever boy? That paint was brilliant. It's not as good as the net. What net? What do you mean, Arcee? Oi, oi, wait for me! Just look at the stains of me! I'm soaking wet! And I'm covered in blue paint. Well, I think it's a lovely shade. Don't you, boys? Yes, well, in that case, you're going to see two more lovely shades when I find Sweep black and blue. Now, just calm down, Matthew. Sweep was only guarding the property. Yes, well, I hope he can guard himself because he's going to need it when I find him. Sweep, where are you? I'm going to have a word with you, my lad. You're in deep trouble. Come on, where are you? Certainly net. not, Matthew. What? Not until you've calmed down anyway. I'm going to make some supper for us for, and by that time, maybe you'll have stopped ranting and raving. I think you're a very clever little dog sweep. And because you're so clever, you can have whatever you like for supper. So what's it to be? What? Jelly babies? J Crisps? J sausages? Oh. Oh. Chocolate beans and cream buns. Well, why do you ask me coming right up? Yes, sweep. He's excited, bless him. Oh, Matthew, what, what, whilst so... we're having supper, what? do me a favour. What? Say goodbye to everyone. Oh, all right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. So don't leave without me, please. I mean, get me down. Don't eat all the food. We could be there.